I just received my Sanjean WR22 radio in the mail. At least I think you call it Sanjean. I got this because I wanted a Bluetooth tabletop radio so I could stream um, games and radio from my phone through the speaker. I also wanted a good AM and FM radio with presets and all the similar options. I didn't want to pay for the top of the line Bose Wave radio because I'm not really looking to use this for music, more sports and talk, morning news and the like. So I'm going to do a little unboxing here. I'll test this out and then I'll come back for a full review. So let's pop this open. Uh, very easy to open. Uh, let's see here. We got our very, very thick manual. Let's kind of give you an idea. That's a thick manual there. And then back here looks like power cable, antenna. And let's pop this off. So far, very easy to open. As you watch my other reviews, you know that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. So here is the remote right there. Good little size, basic functions, everything you would want. Now let's get the actual radio out. One more thing down there. That's just a piece of cardboard. Let's get this out of the way. So let's find out what the radio looks like. This is definitely wrapped for protection. There we go. Now the first thing to point out here is this is all black. The reason I say that is that's how it looked on Amazon, but then I got the box. If you look closely at the box, you can kind of see it looks like a um, kind of a dark wood green, but not really black on the side. So I'm kind of happy that's black. It is not that big. You can see right there's my hand. Compare it to a 15 inch laptop. There's a 15 inch laptop, so it's it's a decent size, but it's not huge. Uh, take a look at out the back. You got your um, AM, FM, uh, or your FM antenna, AM exit, um, aux in, headphone jack. Uh, let me bend that a little bit. Better power. It's a DC 12 volt power one, and then you got an AC in over here also. So you got two power options. Um, it's pretty basic. Not a lot to really say. The USB port here, of course, your pro program buttons. This is play mode, source, two alarm clocks. If you're looking at this for your bedroom, that's not how I plan to use it. I plan to keep this sitting in my kitchen and your power button. So I will test this out a little bit. Just kind of initial feelings is it's solid made. This feels like metal all the ways around, no cheap plastic. So the quality is definitely good. The grips on the bottom are high quality. Does not really slide around. I have kids, so being knocked off the countertop is a real fear. Well, I'll come back in a few days after I've tested this out, give you a full report. But my initial impressions, just to kind of at the looks, it is all black as opposed to what the box may show. And it looks decent. Um, it's not exactly uh, Bose Wave radio stylish, but you're not paying anywhere near that um, price point for Bose. So I've been using the 22 now for a little bit. A couple of early impressions after I've kind of had some time to test it out. Super glossy finish all the way around, all sides. Shows a lot of dust. Uh, but it does look better than I thought it would on the countertop. I kind of thought, oh man, this may be a little ugly. My wife wouldn't want it, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, again, it's no Bose Wave radio, but you're not paying that price. The uh, Bluetooth that I'm running right now, you can see it shows that it's my S4 and my name with it for the phone. Works great. When I click off of it to go to a different mode like FM here, Bluetooth shuts down, disconnects from the phone. Works great. The um, Remote works crazy. See, I'm using that right now to jump back and forth. Let me go back to Bluetooth. There we go. It's blinking. It takes about a um, few seconds. It's connected again. See, my name reappears. And if I hit play on my phone again, 
it will continue going. Uh, that's more of an issue with my phone set to stop playing when it's disconnected from Bluetooth or a headset jack. So, works great. Um, had no issues connecting my Android phones or my Android tablets to this. Uh, I like it. You know, right now I'm streaming a um, sports station from my hometown back in Michigan. It allows me to keep in touch with everything. Don't have to try to use my phone speakers or have it um, headphones in throughout the day if I want to listen to my hometown sports programs. As far as AM, FM reception, works great. Programming is super easy. To set a, a program, you just hold down the button, wait a moment, there you go. Now it's preset. I can jump back and forth between presets and it works great. Uh, to go between AM and FM, you just do it through the source. Same thing. Excellent reception. Probably the best radio I've owned. I have a Zenith old radio that I've had 15 years. Um, that works great. That was a $100 radio back in the day. I have a, a TEAC, T-E-A-C. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, that I purchased from Best Buy some time ago um, with one of those iPod drops. This does better reception than both of those radios. Um, don't own a Bose, can't compare that. As far as the display, there is a lot of um, settings for it. I have this on the number two brightness. Let's kind of um, set that up here. So I to go into settings, you hold the info, and then you can scroll through the different clock and date and all that. So let me go back to the dimmer, show you the different options. Oh, I went past it. Clock, FM, AM, dimmer, there we go. You press in here, allows me to have dimmer off for very dim, one, two, and then oh, three. So there is, I'm not sure how well this will come through on my camera, there is a noticeable difference between all three Two seems to be work very well for me. If you do plan to use this in your bedroom, you know, having it off, you know, one would be a very dim one. I know having a bright light staring you in the face is very annoying, especially with backlit displays. Um, the USB port works great, recognizes the files um, quickly, shows the track number you're playing, uh, which is nice. The remote does. Um, have folder up and down, play, skip back and forth, and so and then play mode. Uh, so it works well. The uh, tuning on this is very accurate. Um, it quickly, the remote works very well, but the auto detect is very accurate in picking up local stations. So out of this, I gotta give it a nine out of 10. I wish it looked a little bit better Functionality wise, it's great. If you're a hardcore music person and you're getting this to have as a sound system to play your music throughout the house, this is probably not the radio. If you're like me, you want to get something to get the local news, hear your sports teams, uh, the talk radio, um, audiobooks, podcasts, big thumbs up for this. It is a great radio for talk, and it's not a bad music radio. It does have a good range. I was very pleased with it. Um, the, the volume on it is very powerful. The speaker really does a good job of cranking out the sound. So I just turned it up just a tiny bit here. Crisp, clear. we're not so much. So what bothers me about all of this... So. That just is kind of the basic rundown. Uh, I've used it for a little bit, and I'm pleased. I was a little concerned that I may return this because I honestly thought it was a little ugly, but I did not want to pay the Bose Wave radio money. So 9 out of 10, functionality great. Aesthetics could use a little bit, but if that's not a big concern to you, if you like it, it's great. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.